everybody, happy Thursday. Um, today we're gonna finish reading A Tree for Emmy. We're gonna keep thinking about the ways that Emmy enjoys and appreciates trees. So our learning target is the same. I can ask and answer questions about the character setting and major events in A Tree for Emmy. So remember, I'll be asking you some questions and you can also send some of your questions to me if there's any words that you don't know or if you wanna know why characters are doing what they're doing. It's really important to keep thinking and asking and answering questions while you're reading to learn more about it. We're also going to think about the question that I showed you guys yesterday, which is what is the same and different about the experiences of the characters in A Tree for Emmy? So how do the characters do the same thing and how do the characters do different things? Yesterday we thought about the beginning and the middle of the story. So remember in the beginning of the story, Emmy was playing with the tree. She was really enjoying it. Her family wasn't. That was something different. In the middle of the story, when it was Emmy's birthday, remember she wanted a tree, so she went to the store, the garden store, to go get one. Her family also went with her. Remember at the when we paused the story yesterday, they could not find a mimosa tree anywhere. Why didn't the store sell the mimosa trees to them? Why couldn't they find one? That's right, because mimosa trees are wild trees, so they're not trees that sell in the stores. Today we're gonna read the rest of the story and we're gonna think about what Emmy and her family does at the end of the story. And we're gonna think about if those things are the same or different. So let's jump right in. I don't want something else, said Emmy. Mama hugged her. I know, honey, but we can't find your tree right now. Just for today, could you go visit Grandma's tree? Oh, I guess, sighed Emmy. At Grandma, she ran straight to her favorite tree and gave it a hug. Dumb old store, said Emmy. No mimosas, no fair. She flopped down under the tree and squeezed her eyes shut to keep in the tears. Something touched Emmy's nose. She opened her eyes. A big weed was tickling her face. No, it wasn't a weed. With that long stem and those feathery green leaves, it looked like... Wait a minute, could it be... It was a mimosa tree. Emmy ran to get Mama and Daddy and Grandma. My, my, said Grandma, peering down. That's a mimosa, all right. A baby one, but a tree all the same. Can I have it, Grandma, begged Emmy? For my birthday, please? Why, surely, said Grandma. So Grandma and Emmy set to work. Carefully, they dug up the tiny tree. Emmy wrapped the roots in news wet newspaper so they wouldn't dry out. Then they put the mimosa in a big tomato can for the trip home. Where does Emmy find the mimosa tree? That's right, she finds it in her grandma's garden. And does Emmy find the tree? Or does her family find the tree? That's right, Emmy finds the tree. So on my chart right here, I'm gonna divide the end into a couple of parts because there's another part that I wanna talk about later. The first part of the end is that Emmy finds the mimosa tree. Does Emmy's family find the mimosa tree? No, they don't find the mimosa tree. So maybe I'll just draw, they were just talking. They do help her um, put the tree in the pot, but they're not the people that find the tree. So let's think, is that the same or different? Emmy finds the tree, Emmy's family does not find the tree. That's right, that's something different. So I'm gonna put a D there for d d different. Let's keep reading and find out what happens in the rest of the story and see if what Emmy and her family does is the same or different. Emmy scouted the yard for a special place for her tree. Scouted means she looked really hard. Under my window, she decided, so I can see it all the time. Emmy and her parents dug a hole for the little tree. I can't wait for fuzzy pink flowers and rattly seed pods, said Emmy. When will that be? 
Emmy, honey, it's just a baby tree, said Mama. It won't have flowers or seed pods for quite a spell. That means for like quite a long time. It won't, said Emmy. No, said Mama. No fair, yelled Emmy. Dumb old tree. She ran to her room and flopped on the bed. She buried her head in her pillow and wished for a tree like Grandma's, stubborn and strong and tall. I called the tree a dumb old tree on this page. I'm confused. Why do you think Emmy is calling the tree names? Hmm, because she's upset that the tree isn't going to grow big. Yeah. What do you think she could have done differently instead of calling the tree names? She could have said that she was upset or shared her feelings. Yeah, for sure. Let's keep reading. Ch -ch -ch -vroom. Emmy sat up and looked out the window. Daddy was cutting the grass. Soon he would be under her window. She ran outside. Daddy, she shouted, waving her arms. Daddy turned off the lawnmower. My tree, said Emmy. You're going to mow over it. Hmm, said Daddy. You mean the dumb old tree? Emmy looked down at her tiny tree. It can't help being small, she said. It will grow someday if I water it and love it and keep it safe. I suppose so, Daddy said. Why don't we build a fence? So Emmy and her daddy made a stick and string fence all around the tree. Now it can grow, said Emmy. Till then, I can pick pink blossoms off of Grandma's tree. So let's think about what, well, actually, let's read the last page first. But someday soon, Emmy knew her baby tree would grow up tall, stubborn and strong, and a little bit wild, just like her. So let's think about what Emmy and her family did at the last part of the story. So remember, Dad was mowing the lawn, and Emmy said, wait! And then they did something. What did they do? That's right, Emmy and her dad both worked together to build a tree fence. So I'm gonna draw Emmy making a little fence around the tree, the little baby tree. And then her dad was doing the same thing. Her dad was helping her build a fence around the little baby tree. that something that they did that was the same or something different that's right it was the same they both worked together to build that tree fence so if I wanted to say it was the same same starts with an S so I'm gonna write the S there so we saw in this story that Emmy and her family did some things that were the same and some things that were different and it was really helpful to see how that showed how the characters were enjoying and appreciating the trees all right, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed this story. I know I did, and I'm excited to see um, your writing and drawing about it tomorrow. All right, thanks, guys.